Okay, well, this is a, a short introduction to Brain Shark. David, I don't know, have you used Brain Shark before? I haven't, and I've absolutely no idea what it is, so I'm really interested to see Right, what it is. right, that's grand. Well, it's so basically. It's, an order. Yes, well, it, it's cloud based software, and it's very good. It's, it's free, and it allows you really to. Um, do things like add voice to PowerPoint or talk through a document or upload a video or um, you create a photo album, um, produce podcasts, do things like that. So I suppose it makes them, um, you know, um, PowerPoints or Word documents and such like more interesting. So I'll just, I'll start through this um, brief um, PowerPoint. Okay. So I said there, yes, it's, it's cloud-based software and you can use it to easily transform static content such as PowerPoint documents um, into voice-enriched video presentations that can be accessed anytime on demand when you, log, when you go to BrainShark. You sign up for free. Um, you have a registration process to complete the first time uh, you use BrainShark and uh, when you do that you'll see a presentation catalogue um, and that, that allows you to upload the content but I'll take you through that um, later. So you can add voice to your PowerPoints. Um, the maximum file upload now is 200 megabits. You can add background music as well and the um, file format it accepts .pptz, pptx and um, ODP files, those are ones if, if you use OpenOffice, um, they're OpenOffice files. Uh, allows you to narrate a document so you can walk people through Word documents or PDFs or Excel spreadsheets. You can upload videos so you can browse and upload uh, your own video or screencast and you can also tag these things as well so that other people can find them. Um, and there's over 100 uh, video formats that are supported. You can produce podcasts, so record your podcast, or you can browse and upload MP3s, and again, you can tag them. Make photo albums, so browse and upload your photos. You can add background music. Again, the maximum upload is 200 megabytes, and it accepts JPG, JPEG, GIF, PNG, and BMP files. So that's the link to it, mybrainshark.com, so I'll just click on that now. Okay. And this is where you sign up um, for free. Now, I have um, actually um, signed up, so I'll just log in here, and it asks you for your email and your password. So I'll just type in my email here. And my password. And log it. So this is the basic screen um, you get. I had just been um, trialing it out, so I'd uploaded two files there. But you can see there's a there's a along the front of the tab here, there's a home um, which gives you sort of access to lots of different um, brain sharks that have been created. So you can browse through those to get ideas. There's my content, which is your area for uploading uh, your information. And then there's the upload content, which I'll come back to. Your my profile, which really just is, is your basic details there. You can fill them in as you want. Um, there's a good uh, help section um, with, I think, uh, little short tutorials, help and training. Okay, and then log out or log in or whatever. Okay, so if you're, you're, you're going to your My Content section, which we're here, and you're, you want to say Upload a PowerPoint, so you're just clicking really on your Upload PowerPoint. And you can see here you have the different options, Add Voice to your PowerPoint, or you can narrate a document if you're doing that, Upload a video, Make a Photo Album, or Produce um, a Podcast. So if we upload um, a PowerPoint, so if we click on that, and let's see, I have one here saved on my desktop. So um, let's see. Take that one. Um, open that. And if we add voice to it, my machine doesn't seem to be doing anything at the moment.
All right, we'll just try that again. Um, and if we go down and choose one, I'll just try that again. So open it. And if I try adding the voice to it, Now, normally it um, lets me go ahead and do this, but something is, it doesn't seem to be doing anything at the moment. Is your GoToMeeting maybe blocking it? That's what know. I'm wondering. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just wondering if that's what happened. That happened when I was doing one with Facebook and also one with Twitter. Um, and I didn't, because uh, normally, I mean, it's straightforward. You just click on these and upload. I wonder if I try, let's see. If I go to home, I'll just go back and go back into my content. Okay. And upload content. I'll just try and narrate a document. Oh. Um, Obviously, something strange has got in there. Um, right, we'll try upload a document, and let's just see. Um, we'll just try this one. Um, right now, it seems to be. We'll go back to the PowerPoint in a moment to see. Um, so it, it comes up here with uh, the document, the title of it. You can add um, a description if you want, and you can tag it obviously if you want. Um, and I see where it's asking me to wait. There seems to be a little delay here. Um, okay, so it's being converted. And we go on to next. So I'll, add, I'll just add some voice here. Now, you may not um, hear this because obviously I'm going through my mic and it's going through um, go to meeting. But you click here to record using your microphone. And if you click um, allow, well, continue, and then allow, and record. This is a test in the Brain Shark webinar, making a voice recording on a Word document. So if we end the recording session, and I'll just maybe take a moment or two to go through. And then we can save it. And it tells me it's unable to connect to the media server. This normally doesn't happen either. Uh, let's see, I wonder, did it actually record anything for me? Yes, it has. I... Yes, did you hear that? I heard uh, something in the background. You heard, there. yes, well, it did. I'm willing to accept that that's there, yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes it, it, it is, it has, but yes, you might not yeah. be able to um, hear it. So it'll take a um, few seconds to process. Okay, so this was just a program. That was the document I uploaded. And then if we play it, we'll hear my voice on it. And there you are. Yeah, so that, that's okay. That, that's as simple as that. If we just go back, now obviously you can edit this if you want. Um, click edit, so you can edit any of these. You can also, um, if you happen to have a, if it's a PowerPoint, you can manage the slides. You can manage your audio, change your audio, record different. You can add back, actually there's a whole list of background music that it allows you to um, add, or obviously you could select your own. So as I say, you can um, play each one of those to hear what they're like and, and, and then you just tick the box and uh, 
add the selected one and then save it with that and that'll add the background music. Um, so let me see, I'm just going to go back and see if the PowerPoint will work for me now. Um, so upload content again and we'll try the um, PowerPoint. So upload a PowerPoint. Um, let me just go try this one. So open. Ah, and there's it coming now. So it's just taken a minute or so to convert. Nearly finished. Okay, so again you can add a, a, a little description if you want. And you can tag it, you can put it into categories. And again, you can record. Again, the same, same process. So continue, uh, allow. It's taking a minute or so. Hopefully it'll connect. Okay, and record. Recording for PowerPoint is now working. So if I just stop that and end the recording session. And then if I save it. And it tells me now it hasn't got any. I wonder why that didn't work. That time record, if we try it again. This is the second time trying the recording for the PowerPoint. And I'm getting the message unable to connect to media server. Um, or try again later. Uh, it's possibly the connection. It's reconnecting in a few seconds, so we'll just wait for another short time and let's see. It may work this time. So I'll stop it and end. And I don't think it's picking that, that up. I mean, normally it does. It'll end and it'll um, process and, and I should be able to hear it over my PowerPoint, but that doesn't seem to have um, picked up there for some reason. Could be the conflict with GoToMeeting. Right, we'll go back to my content again. I'm just going to, to look at this to see if it has actually picked up anything, but it may not have. Um, so if we play it, uh, we may hear the audio. Oh, there we are. Yeah, it has picked it up. Yes. That's okay. Okay. So um, let's see, a useful like, little feature, actually, you can add other slides to, to, to your PowerPoint. Um, you can video slides, URL slides, document slide, PowerPoint slide, photo slide. Um, you can download the audio. You can add a question, which is quite a useful um, little feature. So a poll, so you've got really, you can do a poll or a survey. The poll, multiple choice, um, true or false. So, uh, you know, Type in your question, did you find this uh, useful? Um, and your answers. Uh, so, very useful, um, somewhat useful, or uh, not useful. Okay, and you can save that. 
processes. And then when you go back and if you listen or run your PowerPoint slide, you should get the poll. I'll just skip to the end. Actually, the polls usually come up at the end. Um, and yes, there you are. There's your question. So did you find this useful? Um, let's say A, we'll type A and submit that. And if you do it, if other people do it, um, you'll get a, a percentage when you when you um, look at the brain chart. You'll get a percentage of who you know how many people have said useful, very useful, somewhat useful. So that's that part. Um, let me see. So if we go back to upload content, and just to point out some of the other things. Um, so you can do you can do all of that with your documents. You can upload a video. Um, you can also make a photo album. Again, you just um, choose your photos to upload. Uh, let's see, do I have some pictures here? Um, again, there's one of a mountain um, open. And again, um, you can give a description, give it a tag, and um, again, click to make your recording. Continue and allow and record a picture of the Blue Mountains. And if we end the recording, and save it. And if I play that, hopefully it has, yeah, it's there, okay. So that's okay. And it'll process, and then you, you can obviously add more photographs and so on. Um, yeah, there you are. Okay, now just to point out, you can share this. Um, now, it's currently inactive, which prevents the viewers from seeing it, so you actually have to t t uh, tick the little checkbox to make it uh, active. And then you can, um, well, you can do it there, or you can do it, there's there's another part where you can do it. Um, and then you can uh, send it to someone, in, or a list of people or whatever. Um, so I'll just type in my own email address. And send that. Okay. Uh, you can bed it. You can um, send it to face, uh, Facebook and um, Twitter as well. Um, there's your URL to do that. Um, and obviously that's the replay there. So if I go back just to um, See if there's anything else. Produce a podcast. You can do that um, easily enough. You just simply make your recording using something like Audacity, free software, and again, then you can upload that um, to it. So that's really, um, in a nutshell, uh, Brain Shark. It's um, so it's free to use, and it allows you um, to use it with documents, with PowerPoints, with videos, with photo albums, or producing podcasts. Do you have any questions, David? No, that's fine. Uh, Audrey, uh, I can see there's a health file up there as well, so I think the next stage for me is to, to try it out. Uh, and I, uh, I'll refer back to your uh, this video you're making now. Uh, so it's, it's been very useful. Uh, thank yes, you very I, much. that's good. I think maybe it, the delay is caused probably because it is going over um, go to meeting. If you're if you're just doing oh, it on your so, desktop, yeah. it's you know it is actually quicker. Um, but I think yeah, no, I've, uh, I'm sure it's, it's because of the, uh, the conference software we're using. Okay. Um, no, it, it, that looks uh, very useful. Um, I, say I, I need to have a wee bit of a play on it. And uh, uh, thank you so much for uh, sharing that with me. Okay, that's great. Okay, well, it'll okay, be well, on we'll our... Have... Yep, yeah, okay. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say it'll be on our website. Um, I'll put it up and, and it should be there by the end of, of the day, hopefully. If not, um, after Easter, it'll be there. Okay, Audrey, uh, have a good break and uh, we'll, we'll maybe do it again sometime. Thank you. Okay, bye.